looking at the buzzard circle. It doesn't always mean something's dead, but it could. And I'm not in a survival situation today, but if I was, I might go and investigate where they're circling to see if there was a fresh kill. Don't have to do that today, though. Now, last time we looked at um, the um, Canadian moon seed, this is a wild grape, and I wanted to show you guys the difference. Some of these are, you know, they're past their prime. But I'm going to break this one open and expose that seed. I want you guys to see the difference between this seed and the one on the uh, poisonous Canadian moon seed. This seed is kind of round. Kind of like you would find in an orange or a, a grapefruit, only smaller, ovate. These grapes, again, I'm on, I'm on federal land, and I know that fruit bodies are supposed to be legal, but uh, we'll leave them for somebody else. This isn't my land. I uh, also wanted to show you the difference in the leaves and the vining habit. Now, the, guys, I'm sorry. I forgot to show you how the Canadian moon seed twines. But Canadian moon seed... You'll see a vine like this, and there'll be several strands of it, and they'll be twined around each other. Uh, tendrils are different, and the fruit tends to hang in clusters. Canadian moon seed, uh, which is poisonous, the fruit hangs in uh, uh, sing singles or, or not tightly clustered, like these are. Just look at the bounty here. This is a small grapevine here. The bark of a grapevine, which I don't know if it's going to show up on this camera or not, but it's real loose strands. Here's some strands. You see those? Try and focus in on them. And I don't know if it's showing up on the camera or not, but there's your there's your fire tender materials. And right over here just happen to notice. If you can see that red berry again, I don't know if it's gonna be in focus or not, but if you can see that red berry, that's multiflora rose. Here's some. It's closer. Let's see if I can get down to that without breaking my neck. Again out around the banks of Somersville Lake. Uh, <clears throat> but this is multiflora rose. You can see the spines and the spikes on that. Thorns. Uh, multiflora rose. Now you read the guidebooks, wild rose hips uh, are assumed to have around 500 milligrams of vitamin C. I say that depends on the size of the hip. Multiflora rose hips are small, seedy, uh, but they are a good source of vitamin C and they are edible. You do have to process the seeds out of them. Every piece of literature I've ever read says process the seeds out. And they're actually related to apples, believe it or not. Anyway, there's some more grapes, grapevines. Wild grapes look a lot like domestic grapes. The... Oh, I almost forgot. There's a, a substance that comes out of these grapevines. When you cut one of the big ones, when it's fresh, it's, it's a good source of potable drinking water, fresh water. I've drunk from grapevines before. And it's real, it's got kind of a taste to it, but it's real clean. And there's no, no danger of, uh, of biological contamination in most cases. But the the juice can also have some medicinal qualities. It's antiseptic. There's another wild edible for you from my wild foods list.
Thanks for watching Mr. Brett's Backwoods, and y'all have a blessed day.